I bought this used car and I want to check how the spark plugs are because they um, when I asked they told me that they haven't changed it and it's hundred and twenty thousand miles so I want to know if I have to actually change them or not uh, he bought it at a at hundred thousand and he only put twenty thousands and I haven't seen any record saying that it was done before in the, in the first one hundred thousand so let's take a look let's unplug this wiggly don't pull from the cable there it is let's take the coil out turn it it's easier so it looks rubbery perfect no oil here it looks in, in very good shape i have a 16 millimeters there it is 16 millimeters deep socket it's magnetic by the way as well this is magnetic i put an extension deep one so i can go all the way in yep so let's take a look go easy there we go it's scary at the beginning you don't want to break a spark plug inside of your car don't ask me how i know it one of the worst nights when I okay, I think it's loose. I hear it's coming. Yeah, let's take a look at the whole thing. Okay, good. All that white is a good thing. But this hasn't been changed in a while. I'm gonna check the gap now. So I'm gonna be using this tool to check the gap. You see that you go through here. This one should be 44. Yeah, that's as, as maximum as I can go. Almost 45, between 44 and 45. Should be fine. But this is telling me that I have to change them. It's not bad, but it's not white anymore there, but I, I should be changing them anyway. I'm going to check another one, but we'll see. This is how you can remove them and put them back. I'm, I'll show you how I put them back. So you put it back into the magnetic socket here and you go easy inside. Let me show you how it looks. There it is. You don't want that dirt to go in. So I'm gonna quickly put put it back, but that's how it looks. So wiggling until it goes in. And now you start hearing the all the screw screwing it on the grooves going in. Do it by hand. At the beginning it slowly goes down that's as much as I can go pretty much oh, yeah come on there that's that's as much as I can go so I'm gonna put the ratchet now and now I'm going to apply some pressure not crazy because that's how I know I know that if I use this one the short one is like 10 pounds or if I put a little more pressure maybe 20 that should be enough that's enough you don't want to break it in there so once it's that's done now you have to put back the coil here it is there we go plug it and now we put that screw just tighten it up and that's it Yep. If you like this video, please subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. That's going to help me a lot. Thank you.